Hello. Welcome to day 37 <laughs> of Diary of a Multifaceted Mama. This is my personal vlog series where I, um, mom of four and a psychotherapist, a PhD, and business owner and mentor and speaker and best-selling author and blah, 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 blah. All those different pieces and facets of myself and my life. Um, where I bring all of me, right, in, in transparency because, you know, the truth is that we all have so many different facets. And if you've been following along this vlog series, that's really what it's about, is to be transparent that we do have different facets of ourselves. And I went from doing these videos um, almost daily to kind of feeling out when I was going to do them. And so it was maybe like a few days in between a few times a week things like that and now more recently since we've passed the 30-ish day mark of the vlog series that have been recorded i have been doing more often like once a week or once every other week and i think that's relevant to like some of what i wanted to talk about today was like trusting ourselves when we make changes about you know what we decided before versus you know now that we have we're either in a different place in our lives or we have newer different information you know we make different choices uh, we're supposed to do that and yet so often we can get really hard on ourselves right like <clears throat> whether it's as a parent um I'm a mom or whether it's as a professional or a business owner it's like oh no well I you know I I committed to doing this thing in this way for this amount of time I can't change my mind about that because then you know I would be a liar or hypocritical or unreliable and how do I balance you know my word being my bond so to speak you know being honest about the commitments I'm making and honoring the commitments I'm making while also honoring that life and things change in life, right? I change, relationships change, circumstances change, the information we have changes, the awareness that we have changes. And so our decisions over time, right, are ultimately, if we're growing, evolving, and learning, like we're, they're going to change. And that's okay, but how do we balance both? And that's really important to me. Um, if you're anything like me and you value integrity and really showing up for your commitments and really being a reliable, responsible person like I do, um, then you can probably relate to this, right? Because it's, it's a tricky, it can, it can seem tricky, but what I have come to land on as I've been in this kind of like in between I'm in mean, this is a really cool yet undefined in between place. I've been here for a couple weeks now, professionally specifically, but it relates to me personally because my profession is so personally fueled. Um, it's so backed by like my personal mission to bring more unity and healing in this world. Like that's a personal mission to me and it's reflected in my professional work. So it's all connected, but You know, I've landed at this place where if I have committed to something for a specified period of time, um, I'm going to now make sure that when I make that commitment, I do so very intentionally, very deliberately, very judiciously, not from a place of, well, I guess I have to, or I guess I should, or well, if I don't know when else will. I've made those commitments in the past and, and I haven't been operating that way for years at this point because I had burnt out and some of you have heard my story, right? But when I operated those way, that way in the past, like, oh, well, they might be mad at me if I don't make this commitment or they might choose someone else if I don't make this commitment, even though this commitment isn't fully aligned 
with me and with the direction I want to go or fully what I want or whatever the case is, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make this commitment. I'm going to force myself to show up for it because if I don't then, and it was really more of like a fear-based kind of commitment um, sometimes. And those kind of commitments, when we force ourselves to make them, it, those are the ones that I have found that feel the hardest for us to later on go back and change our mind with because it's like our mind wasn't fully convinced in the first place like our mind wasn't fully on board in the first place we kind of felt somewhat forced into it or somewhat like there wasn't an option right and so it kind of felt like our 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 decision wasn't really ours to make even though we are really the ones that made the decision you know what I'm talking about right and and so those commitments they don't feel good in the long run but when when I make commitments from a place of passion, of purpose, of inspiration, of clear headedness, of what I call core connection um, within myself, then I don't make those kinds of commitments, right? Like I make commitments that I am clear on. And so I'm much more likely to follow through on those commitments from a place that feels good and my mind my decision is much less likely to change in the midst of that. Um, and if it does, because I went into this, whatever the commitment is, like I went into it with honesty and integrity, then I could bring, you know, my questions or concerns or just thoughts that I'm pondering, like I could bring that to the situation. It wouldn't feel so yucky to me. So anyway, I'm thinking about that because this vlog series very much connects with that. This vlog series is both a personally and purposely filled um, creation, right? That's that's what led me to this. Um, and I had initially committed to the 30 days. And then after 30 days, I had said, I'm going to commit to the 60 days. And I do still want to commit to those 60 days. But the way in which I commit to those 60 days is different now than it was before. So uh, like coming on and doing a recording every day does not feel aligned with where things are at in my life right now. Um, and so doing the, the vlog recordings more so on a maybe like a weekly basis, that feels much more aligned with, with the season of life that I'm in, uh, with the information that I now have about, you know, how the vlog series has been uh, for me and for those watching, but then also just about like where my life is, is headed right now. Um, I've been feeling really excited with some of the things that I've been investing my time, my energy, um, my efforts in, and I've been really enjoying, you know, being present with my kids. So what's been going on these past few weeks? We've been doing a lot, like as a family, really enjoying, um, we built a greenhouse. I've never done that before. And we planted the, the garden inside the greenhouse and the ground inside the greenhouse. We did it all as a family. I had my kids um, and a, a family, excuse me, a family friend and my mom and my mother-in-law, my father-in-law. There were a bunch of us. Um, that came and did it together, which made it a really memorable adventure. <laughs> I won't say it was all smooth, but it was a very memorable adventure. And I uh, got like a trampoline that I built for the kids and they're so excited to jump on it. We have like a small indoor trampoline that they've been using for years, but we haven't had a large outdoor trampoline, but in this new place, cause we have so much land, I have wanted to get them one so they could use it and now finally I was able to do that so that was really cool building that for them and watching them jump on it and enjoy it um, we did some fireworks just family friendly fireworks not like the crazy crazy big ones and they really enjoyed doing that with Memorial Day and things like that and we had a really 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 nice Mother's Day um, it was really nice and I allowed myself to not have to do a single thing that I didn't feel like doing and they allowed that too and um it was just really beautiful they made the meals the the boy the kids and my husband like made the meals I didn't have to do the cleaning and stuff they did the cleaning 
it was just really, it was a really nice day. And so I've been kind of just continuing to enjoy those times, right? I think as a mom, I know many moms out there can relate. There's always going to be stuff in life that could pull us from one thing to another. Like there's always going to be that next thing that needs to get done. There's always going to be the dishes or the laundry or something that needs to get fixed or that thing that didn't get put away or that meal that needs to be made or those groceries that need to be bought or 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 there's always going to be that and then you add on you know things with work things with your partnership and there's always going to be the likelihood that you you could be pulled in many directions and or that many directions could be vying for for your attention and I think that we need to have conversations about like it's okay if you choose to slow down and focus in one direction at any given time that doesn't mean you're neglecting the other things it means you're being present and intentional and deliberate with the life that you're living. And what I have found to be true is that the more purposeful we are with how we spend our time and our efforts and our energy, the better life gets. But the practice of being more purposeful about how we allow like our time, our attention, our energy to be pulled, that is a practice that really is foreign to many of us myself included for quite a while, for the first couple decades of my life. Um, but it's really changed my life. And I'm so appreciative that it has in so many good ways. Now don't get me wrong, sometimes if I feel like um, letting myself feel pulled in these different directions. I'm not going to pretend like I don't have feelings about it because I do. I'm a human. I'm not a robot. Um, but I just remind myself that I'm human, right? And I'm not a robot and that I'm allowed to have these experiences and these emotions. And I am mom and I really adore being mom. And I am also a woman and a minority. And I honor those parts of who I am, of my identity. And I'm also someone who has a lot to say, a lot to share with this world, who didn't share it for a long time for fear of being misunderstood or rejected or ridiculed. And that's not who I choose to embrace being anymore. And so I've been going on the news recently to share the messages behind my personally fueled professional movement and my passions and what I believe my purpose to be in ways that helps contribute to the world so that we could be more unified in light of our differences and heal more. Now, no one is ever fully 100,000% healed. Like, it's an ongoing process, right? Because we're all learning, we're all growing, we're all experiencing new and different things. But if we're willing to embark on that courageous, vulnerable journey that is the process of healing, then we are really showing up in life, I think. And we are much more likely to spread our passions and our live out our purpose in an aligned way and not feel icky or resentful or whatever the case is if we change our minds about something if we made a commitment that later on down the line it's time to renegotiate that contract because things have changed and so it's time to address a change in that commitment and that that's okay too whether it's a marriage whether it's in business or career whether it's in parenting 
something's not working anymore. Or if there's something that's pulling you beyond what it is that you have been doing. Who says you have to just stay where you're at? You don't. You don't. And so in these last few weeks, as I'm kind of in this in-between of this journey of spreading my message of unity and healing in the way that I do, particularly for leaders, achievers, and parents, I am feeling both more profound peace at times and intermittent bouts of uh, confusion isn't the right word but it's something like that um, it's like a reaching for clarity and it happens kind of back and forth kind of but it all feels right like it all feels like that's exactly what where I'm meant to be right now exploring and then as I clarify sharing what it is through the news or with clients or just online or whatever the case is and then something else comes up for me to learn and grow from and I get more clarification so whatever this brings up for you whatever resonates for you here I hope you take it with you marinate on it and let it work for you in the way that you need it to. Till next time, y'all.